Insta360 have raised the game in action cameras. I'm here with the new X4 and I'm going to show you what it's like. So let's go through some quick tech facts. The camera can film up to 8K 30 frames per second. Battery life, I was using it yesterday filming in 8K for about three hours and I still had about 70 to 80% left. In terms of memory, I'm using a 256 gig card. And again, even in 8K, I had like three hours of footage. So that is plenty on there for you. Let's go. Oh, there's another line there to go with that in a minute. Oh, bit of a close call, trying to adjust my pedals. Right. In the middle there, go drop. Oh, these trails are so good. Oh my God, this trail is going crazy. That back end is sliding about all over the place. Oh, damn, so good, absolutely incredible. The big advantage that 360 cameras hold is the ability to reframe. So with the 360, it's filming everything and then you can reframe it to whatever you want, whether that's portrait, landscape, zoomed in, zoomed out. This would have been so useful when I was in Canada because we was riding Whistler Bike Park and it was an absolute awesome day, but I had the camera pointed just a little bit too far down. So I was getting a lot of bike and not much horizon. So it kind of bugged me where something like this, I could have reframed it to however I want. I think this is actually the one we wanted. Oh, now there's more. There's more options. Oh, crap. We're we going down there. Yes, we can. And more options again. Oh, that was cool. I have no idea if this is the trail I wanted, but either way, it's a good trail. <laughs> Some off camera routes. Where Insta360 have really stepped up the game is with the option to run 8K footage in up to 30 frames per second. Now you may be thinking, that's crazy, why do we need that? And you are true. However, the way it's really beneficial is because when you're reframing it, it's gonna go through some different export and compressions. So by having a really big high quality video to start with, when you get it down to like a 4K video, it's gonna be super crisp and really hold out that nice detail. Oh man, so good. Insta360 also have loads of really cool accessories that you can buy for your action camera. Like this, the invisible selfie stick. You can get some really, really cool shots and as you can reframe it to however you want, you can get some awesome videos like this with the amazing scenery in the background. So cool. You can also buy this for the Insta camera and it may look like a little watch, but actually what it is, is your preview to your video. 
So right now I can see what I want and see what's recording and, and start and stop the video on, on here as well. So pretty cool little feature. Bit of time with the trees there. And this one's definitely a technical trail. As you see already, we've got a lot of roots, even some rock to try and wiggle ourselves in and out of. It's probably the hardest feature. Oh, I tried not to go down there. Front brake wasn't working quite as well as I thought. But then this nice high angle, so hopefully the Insta will get that and show it a lot more steeper and true. Hopefully trying to eliminate that GoPro effect that you normally get. Super good. If you've ever filmed mountain bike content, you probably would have heard of the GoPro effect. And it's basically these action cameras make all of our trails just look so flat when they're actually really, really steep. Now that is something that the 360 cameras are so much better for and particularly the X4. I was riding some trails yesterday in Wales and they were pretty steep and you can definitely see the elevation so much more, it looks far more true. So it actually looks nice and technical like we know it. The right one. I don't know. So cool. Nice drop. Oh, it's getting a bit crazy. Ah, oh, haven't done that bit before I remember looking at it. I think, I think we'll go for it. Right, let's try it. Quite a steep roll off. <coughs> the bump hit the tire, it was good. Zooming. At least it feels like it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, damn, that's such a good trail. Super mega fun. When you're trying to reframe your clips for the X4, you can do it on the Cool Phone app. Really easy to use, and you can install the reframing in there. It's even got some tracking features to allow you to track like, the object ahead of you. So in my case, quite often dad in front, and then we'll follow him down the trail, get some really cool shots. Similar start to one of the other ones we did. This time, I'm gonna stay on the left. Let's down here. Oh, there's another, another line again. So many options here, absolutely awesome. Super good. Whoa, good drop. The X4 comes with this really nice big display and it is really good quality. So great for watching the videos back or trying to sort of see what you're filming. 
and the touch screen as well works really, really nice, really easy to use. With action cameras as well, especially this one, you've got two lenses. Now, being a mountain biker, if you crash and damage the lens, that's gonna be pretty much a new camera. So what Insta have are these guards that go front and back, literally just a quick turn on, super easy to do. And then you can put a setting on on the camera that will do some crazy stuff to make the video look good and not have the guard affect it. Just really simple, but it's gonna save you a lot of money. Right into Ginger Monkey. Big jump to start into the into the drop. It's a cool floater. So good. Awesome trail. So why would you actually buy the Insta360 X4? And the big selling point for me is really high quality video, 360 degrees. So say you're riding with your mates and they're doing some different lines, or maybe one of them has a bit of a crash, or someone does some crazy whip, you're gonna be able to get everything. But with normal cameras, you literally just have that tunnel vision ahead of you. So as I say, you can reframe it to any point at any time and then carry on your film and POV. So it's, like I say, it's just gonna get absolutely everything all the time. Let's hit it up and blueprint. So good every time. Awesome day today filming on the Insta360 X4. Awesome camera. Insta have definitely sort of stepped up the game there and it looks absolutely awesome footage. And yeah, just can't wait to see what other videos we get on it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and what you think of it. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next week for another ride. Let's go.